Hello everyone, this is Jeet, and welcome back to another Let's Play where I play better than Wolves and better than Billcraft. Um, I've done a little bit of work since my last episode, guys. Not too terribly much here. Um, I've got a few more animals than I had before. My hemp farm is, is going great and everything like that. I have a reed farm. I don't know if you noticed that in the last episode or not. But uh, I did move my windmill. My windmill's over here on the desert side of my mountain now. And I just made a uh, nice little structure for that. So let me take you inside real quick. I haven't done anything but, uh, mod related, guys. It's mostly been aesthetic stuff and moving stuff around. So um, I have moved, uh, widened my house out a little bit. I moved my um, mills over here so I can access those and put them in there. Um, I. And taking you guys' suggestion and using the uh, stewing pot as a uh, collection thing. So I've got a few of those going right now. So while my uh, hemp or flour uh, gets milled out down into here and gets caught, I do have a shutoff switch for the windmill. I know I shouldn't need it now that it's in the desert, but I like to have it just in case. And then I have a shutoff switch for these particular things here. Um, I've expanded my inventories, uh, my chest a little bit. So this is my uh, miscellaneous chest, basically a little bit of everything. Um, mined items and some mob drops, stone and stuff like that. Uh, redstone and the miscellaneous stuff here. And then all my uh, better than wolf stuff, hemp and hemp seeds and fibers and all sorts of stuff. So I got to uh, reclaim a lot of those gear boxes. I got a couple stewing pots here and I do have uh, nether rack burning down below that. So I went into the nether real quick just to grab a couple pieces of nether rack. Uh, that's my broken uh, or near broken stuff. Uh, my wolves room. I modified a little bit thanks to uh, everybody's suggestions. So now my wolves are sitting on top of a piece of glass and I did lower the water level a little bit. So that's good going there. And all three of them, all the water runs out underneath the floor, except for this one here where it runs out. And it goes right into this stewing pot here where I'm collecting dung. Um, I haven't set an automated system up for feeding these guys, so I was planning on doing that during this episode. So we'll be able to uh, learn together here. What else? Oh, yes, I wanted to show you guys something. You guys commented uh, in the Butter Than Wolves forum how lucky I was, uh, you know, with my spawn and having oil and water and desert and all this kind of stuff well just wanted to show you this really quick here I thought it was pretty funny as I was um, digging this trench out here for uh, just running the water over to the other side actually you know I was doing good ways I turned the corner here and then I come across a underground pond so basically all I did have to do was dig straight down here which is where my mills are and then I have running water so I got water plenty of water to run all over the place now uh, in my base when I start expanding it so I thought that was pretty pretty cool I'm actually just gonna go out this way here um, so far I'm really liking this hardcore bucket mode guys it makes me really think of what I need to do and <clears throat> stuff along those lines so I'm having a lot of fun with this uh, my tunnel here, I've widened a good bit, and I put a, a system for me to go down. Come back, I still have to hoof it back up, but uh, this will work for now. So I just so I just take the cart down here. Sorry, my dog was barking there. Um, I take the cart down, and I'm ready to go start mining over here. I haven't done anything else, really. I found a, a lava lake up here uh, with a couple, uh, well, with a little bit of late lava here. So I decided, you know, this would be good lighting for coming down here. So let me go ahead and head back upstairs. Let me grab my mine cart here. Head back upstairs and uh, let's start getting stuff together for uh, feeding those wolves. Okay guys, so I was kind of looking up the recipe for a dispenser here. Um, so I need to make one of those. I need to make four of those real quick. Um, I've already made my bows. So I've got a couple pieces of redstone here. I guess I can go ahead and drop the rest of these in here, right? Four. I don't know why I keep clicking five. Alright, so I'm going to put the rest of these in here. Okay. Now we have some dispensers here. And what I need to do, 
guessing. Let me get some more redstone here. I'm feeling I'm gonna need quite a bit of this stuff. Uh, where's my stuff at? There he is. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to this. First of all, I don't know if these can be placed directionally. Can be placed up like this? No. That's not working for me. Uh, watch out, boy. Let's try and place this up above you. I guess it has to be off to the side. Maybe I just need to be right under it. So while I try and get this dog in here, I'll be right back. Alright, so that was a pain in the butt to get him up there. Alright, so now I have those. Um, knock these down. Run the wire on the top here. Each of these. So, I want to 
put maybe a redstone torch. There. And that would basically activate that, right? I really don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> so this is me just trying things out, I guess. Um, I, I saw um, Batisei's, um version of this, so I'm going to try and copy it, but yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, first... So what I'll try and do. Let's see what happens when I push this. Nothing. Because we need to invert that. Hmm, how would I do that? Oops. I don't want stuff falling in there. Let me, um, I guess let me figure out this first part here, what I need to do to get this, uh, to get this to dispense at least on a button push, and then, uh, and then I'll move forward from there. So, bear with me a few moments. Okay, so I got the first part of this set up here, um, and I'm guessing I'm doing this right here. And again, you know, forgive me for being a noob, um, but now if I power this, it should be powering the redstone up above there. All right, so the next thing I need to do is take this other dispenser and let's put it, I guess let's put it here. Will that work? Yeah, okay. That'll work. Um, and that there. Let's put some items in here. No, that won't work. It needs to be lit, so I need to invert that. Let's do the same thing here. Okay. Now, let's put this... Will that work here? Yeah, that should work. Okay. Okay, so let's put an item in here. Oops. <laughs> Alright. Ah, can't get out of the way fast enough. Alright, let's see. Let me move out of the way. Oh, well, I guess... have to make sure it lands on there somehow. <laughs> I can't get at it. Oh, no, no, no. Flood, flood. Alright. Oops. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to get this right one of these days. All right. So, anyways, we—I I think I know what it, uh, it's going to do. It should land on there, which lights up that. Okay. Which then would be reset once that item disappears. So, I'm going to call that okay. Seal that off. Um, and then just. If I need to reset it, I'll, res I'll, I'll send it out myself, or I'll come over and set it myself. Alright, so the next thing I need to do is figure out how I'm going to get food to these guys, or fill these things. It shouldn't be too hard here. I'll just kind of dig up one more here. And there's my dogs again. 
All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. And sorry about that. My uh, wife got home and the dog started barking, so. All right, so how am I gonna feed these things? Well, I guess for the time being, I can use that. I'll just travel up here along the path there. Yeah, I guess that'll do for now. So let's go ahead and for now just drop 16 in each of these. And as time progresses, I'll uh, I'll be able to fill those up. I guess I should. Oops. I guess I needed that. up here just so I can kind of see around all right so there we go let me um I guess I'm gonna also have to figure out a way to uh, maybe do a manual reset on this too why is he not eating it So there we go guys, my very first automatic doggy feeder thing. A <laughs> uh, little quick and dirty, this is my first time doing this, this is pretty cool. But uh, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and, oops, let's see go up here um, another thing I wanted to show you here real quick guys was well uh, as I was expanding I found this uh, cave that goes whoa underneath of my house where I built and it actually opens up into the ravine that I've already explored whoa gotta be careful Ooh, creepers nice oh skeleton too okay so there we go <laughs> gotta be careful coming down here um, so yeah, so I've already been down there at the bottom of this ravine before, um, but I didn't even realize that my house was like right above it. So this is going to make for an excellent uh, expanding project um, to expand down into this ravine and build some, uh, some interesting structures under here. So, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode, guys. Um, this was kind of short. I'm not feeling the best right now, but I did promise that I would try and get something out today. So uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and plug this hole up and call this an episode. So thank you very much for watching guys. I look forward to doing another one this weekend. Um, hopefully get into a little bit more of the tech tree of Better Than Wolves. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.